Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Pros and Easy Template to code your VEX V5 uh, robot for competitions and uh, I guess anything else if you want. Um, the official website for Pros is pros.cs.purdue.edu. Um, pros was uh, made by uh, I think the Sigbots or something like that. Um, I guess at Purdue. Uh, and it's a C slash C plus plus um, OS for operating system for the Vex V5 brain. Um, you can download it here. Um, and this is a, basically a guide. So if you go to this website, you can see a guide on how to get started with pros. Um, here's some more information about it. Um, but yeah, today we're going to be using something built on top of pros called easy template, which makes it a lot easier to actually get started with pros. And it makes it a lot easier to code special features like PID and uh, other fun things like that. If you go to easy robotics.github.io slash easy template, you will be at the introduction page. Um, you can download the example project. I'll probably have a link to this in the description below. You can download the example project from this website. For this uh, tutorial, you should have VS Code because you're going to need VS Code. I'm just changing this to 1234 real quick. So um, you're going to want to download um, pros from the VS Code extensions thing from the VS Code extension store. Um, you're going to need this extension to actually upload your code. Um, so in the example project, um, this is what you're going to see when you first open it up. These values might be a little bit different. Um, I don't know, but um, this is main.cpp in the source folder. This is the first thing you should see when you open up the example project provided by Easy Template. Now, um, Easy Template, basically what it does is, if you were wondering, it, uh, it, um, it adds extra functionality to pros and makes it easier to use. So you still need to actually interface with pros um, to add things like motors, but Easy Template just makes this a whole lot easier. So in the main file, you're going to see a constructor ca called chassis and this will be your four motor or six motor chassis um i think easy template only supports uh four motors but i could be wrong you might be able to add more motors um and so these will your be your left chassis ports these will be your right chassis ports if you add a negative sign that port will be reversed meaning the motor will go backwards this is your inertial sensor port um, this is very important for easy template because if you don't have one plugged in, then you cannot use extra functionality like PID. Um, and that's kind of detrimental, um, to actually using easy template and stuff like that. So I uh, highly recommend you get an inertial sensor or else you probably shouldn't be using, um, a, a more advanced code. You should probably be using something like Vex Code Pro or something like that. Um, if you have four inch diameter wheels, uh, it's actually 4.125 inch. So you're gonna wanna put that there. And if you're using three inch, you could do like three, two, one. Well, there's no one inch wheels, but um, 3.125 inches. This is your cartridge RPM for your drivetrain. So if you're using blue motors, you're gonna to wanna to change that to 600 or red motors 100. Um, this is your external gear ratio. So if you're using a gear drive that has um, gears attached to the motors to get more speed or more power, you're going to want to uh, put that here. So in my case, uh, I'm doing this ratio. So I'm doing a 257 RPM drive. So I'm gonna do 2.333. Um, then there's some odometry stuff, um, uh, here, 
if you're using tracking wheels to do odometry, th then you're going to want to uncomment this. This is the initialize function. Um, it, it does say here that it's important that this is limited to the executions for a few seconds because if you start your program um, and then immediately go into like your competition autonomous or whatever, um, it's going to delay execution until this initialize is done. So you don't want it to last that long because then it could interrupt like your other autonomous functions. So this I'm pretty sure isn't needed. This is just printing easy templates brands brand thing. This is a delay. Um, it just uh, makes it so they can't do anything while the legacy, legacy ports configure. Um, so this uh, toggles modify curve with controller. Um, so I I haven't had to change this yet. So you can just leave this as default. Uh, this is set active break. Basically what this does is when your robot star, uh, stops in autonomous, um, if another robot slams into it, then your robot will self adjust and go back to the last position that it was at until you actually tell it to move. So it kind of just prevents um, robots from changing the position of your autonomous when you don't want them to. Um, so you can set that to 0 0.1 if you want to activate it, or you can just set it to zero if you don't care about it. Uh, set curve default, you can just leave that default. Default constants, basically what this does is it sets your PID constants. If you don't know what PID is, it's like a control loop, which basically makes it so all the movements of your robot are pretty accurate. Um, like if you wanted to go to 90 degrees, but you do need an IMU for that. Um, so yeah, you it's required that you have an IMU or like a uh, inertial sensor. So this is just setting the default constants um, of the drive. So if you want to change some of those, then your PID constants will change. Yeah. Um, set exit condition defaults. Haven't had to change that, but I guess this is the exit conditions of your PID. So I'm assuming that means like whenever it's in a certain area it'll stop the PID um, so this is your autonomous selector this is very important in the actual easy template UI you have three buttons you have a go to like the left page a select button and then a go to the right page button um, and you can go to different pages which say different things and do different autonomous routines so if you wanted to add an autonomous function here, you could go auton and then you could describe it and then you add some function, right? Um, and then you would have it like that. So you would do like function name. So you would do like the name of your function and then you do a descriptor. So you'd be like, this is skills autonomous. And then they would know that it's skills autonomous and it would execute this function whenever you select it. This is important later um, to actually add functionality to easy template. This initializes the chassis and like easy template. Um, so this is just when your robots disabled uh, competition initialize. So when it's connected to the field controller, this is when this initializes. So if you want to do special things when it's connected to the field controller, like your controller is connected to the field, then that would be what you do here. Um, this is your autonomous. So um, this just handles like, I don't think you need to change this, but it just resets your drives, like everything. It just resets everything. And then um, basically, uh, then it calls the selected auton. So you saw up there with the different pages, right? If they selected, say, the first auton, this autonomous function would run and then call the auton that you. So this isn't actually a auton. Like this doesn't actually make the robot move. It just resets everything to zero, right? And um, makes it so your auton will start from like fresh, you know? So the gyro, like the 
the gyro isn't all messed up, which is the rotation sensor, the sensor that, let me get my hand, sensor that tells it the rotation of the robot. Uh, oper uh, op control, so this is just um, driver control. Um, you can set your drive brake from like motor brake coast to like motor brake hold. Um, this is where you set what you want your controller configuration to be. So if you want it to be like one stick goes up and down, one stick goes side to side, then you would say like chass chassis arcade standard split and split would mean it splits it. Arcade standard single means one joystick controls the entire thing. So this is pretty self-explanatory. This is where you put your user code. So if you added a motor, you would handle the motor's functions here. So you'd be like, um, I think this is repeating. Yeah, it's repeat. Well, true. Yeah. So you would handle stuff here. Uh, not wow. If motor, whatever, you know. So you would, if uh, you would handle stuff with the controller here to move motors if you add motors later on. But uh, easy, I don't think Easy Temple actually has a easier way to add motors. You just have to add motors through the Pros API. Um, this is your Holotons.cpp. So this is connected to your main.h or your main file. So it's 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 connected to your main file. So whenever you make a motor, well, so if you make a motor in here, you have to add it to your main.h um, over here, I think. And then your autons will have access to it. Um, so this is where they define the speed. So this is your drive speed, obviously self-explanatory. That's how fast your robot drives. It's uh, out of 127. All of this is out of 127. Your turn speed, uh, these are just default values. They're slower than your max speed because you generally want to go slower if you want to be very accurate, but faster if you want a fast auton. Um, so you're gonna have more error if you go faster. Swing, uh, not all, I don't know if a lot of people know what swing is, but um, swing is like turning, except when you turn normally, one of, one, one of the sides of your drive goes forward and one side goes backward and it causes a turning motion. But swing is like when one goes forward and the other one just like rotates. So only one of your sides goes forward, so it like swings the robot instead of turning it in place. So this is your default constant. So I went over this. Um, I think Easy Template was last updated like in Tipping Point or something. I don't think it was last updated in Tipping Point, but they still have Tipping Point example functions. I think because it says two Mogo constants. So I think I think it um I think that was a reference to Tipping Point. Um, said that already, modified, said, these are just exit conditions for your PID. Drive example, this is included, um, so it just makes your robot drive 24 inches forward, um, and then it makes them reverse 20, 12 inch, and then reverse 12 inch. So you're going to notice, whenever you want to drive, uh, every time you want to do something with PID, you're going to want to do chassis dot set, uh, underscore, and then you can do, like, turn PID, turn underscore PID, uh, set underscore drive underscore PID, or set underscore swing underscore PID. And then you're just gonna pass in the values here. Um, so normally it's just gonna be like the degrees or how far you wanna go. And then it's gonna be your speed. You can just set it to these constants that we went over up there. Turn example. So these are just a bunch of examples that come out of the box. Um, so basically that's how Easy template works. Um, this is just the example project. Uh, in future videos, I'll show you how to do more complicated things. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to add more autonomous functions, and then I'll end the video. So you're going to want to make your autonomous function, um, and then you're going to want to do something in here like chassis dot uh, dot set drive PID and then you're going to want to pass in your values here
And after like every PID thing, you're going to want to tell it to wait. So this basically waits until the PID is done working and it then it exits out. Because if you start moving your robot more um, while the PID is still turning, it can get weird. So this is your autonomous function. Then you're going to want to go to an autons.hpp. That's in the include folder. And here you're just going to want to add your function. Autonomous func function. Damn it, I can't type. Okay, autonomous function. Then you're going to go to main. And you're going to want to add it as an auton. This is an example function. Autonomous function. You're gonna put a comma after that just in case you add something over here before. You can also get rid of those functions, the example ones, if you don't want them. Um, I keep them just in case you wanna test on the fly. But um, also, these are, I'm pretty sure these, read, these are read in order. So if you want your Auton to come first in the list, if you want your Auton to come first in the list and you don't want to have to go through all of these, then you can just put yours first and then it'll show up first whenever you start the program. All right, so that's the basics of Easy Template. I showed you what everything is, what everything looks like. I showed you how to add your own autonomous functions. I showed you, I told you what like PID is. Um, so that's be, that's going to be basically it for this video. Um, I was just explaining what pros, like how easy template works with pros. In the next video, I'll show you how to add motors, how to handle motors, how to access the controller and, um, other stuff. So yeah, bye.